Hi guys, welcome to Species Diversity and Human Activities. So in terms of the specification, you need to be able to use the data and uh, comment on the diversity. So in uh, this video, we will be looking at few past paper questions. So we've got the mean number uh, here of the uh, of species and then we've got the mean total number. So the questions that comes up is what is the mean species richness uh, in addition of information provided in figure four and five, what other measurements could be done, explain what the standard deviation suggests about this difference and explain the importance of sites being chosen at random. So uh, good application questions here. So in our first question, okay, what is the uh, mean species richness? Uh, so we're looking at this, okay, and we've got 14. So we're reading that information of the, uh, of the graph. So in the addition, what else is needed? It's a number of individuals in each species. So if you refer to the uh, equation of the index of diversity, we need n, which is a total number. And we also got a letter n in the equation, which is an, a number of individuals in each. So that's missing. What can you then suggest about the difference, okay, in the total number? So we're looking at this graph here. So as you can see, the standard deviations don't overlap. That's really typical question. You can use this for any sort of uh, topics. So if they don't overlap, that means that there is a significant difference in the uh, mean, uh, in the total mean number. So that difference is not due to chance. And the scientists uh, would like to improve, uh, w w place traps to collect the, uh, the, the species here at the random and explain the importance of doing that at the random, so not bias. So uh, that's another typical question. So what is then the biodiversity? Okay, biodiversity could be divided further into species diversity, genetic diversity, and ecosystem diversity. And biodiversity can relate to a range of habitats from a small local habitat to the earth. And farming uh, techniques reduce biodiversity and the balance between conservation and farming, it's really important to, to be uh, maintained to obviously uh, make sure that the biodiversity is not reduced. So uh, what is the impact of the agriculture on species diversity? So what we need to remember is the fact that natural ecosystem will develop over time. So they will become more complex communities. So what's the definition of community? All of the populations. So then they will have a high index of diversity. So the uh, agricultural ecosystem are controlled by humans. So what does that actually mean? That means that the species are selected, they reduce number of species and genetic variety of alleles, they increase the number of the species that they would like to get, so to affect the biomass, to increase the biomass. There are many competitions between the species, so it could be competition for light, mineral ions, food, water and they use pesticides to exclude other species. So what we can deal here with, it's a reduction of species diversity and the low index of species diversity as the impact. So what is meant then by conservation? So it's a concept of maintenance. So it could be the resource, could be the maintenance of the diversity, maintenance of the forest, and the aim of conservation is to maintain that diversity and to maintain organisms' habitats. So we're looking here at some model answers. So explain advantages of conserving a forest ecosystem. So we've got lots of clear ideas that trees available as uh, the resource, maintaining habitats, niches, maintain diversity, maintain stability of the ecosystem, maintain food chains, beds, reduce loss of soil, reduce flooding, act as carbon sink, maintain oxygen and carbon dioxide balance, reduce global warming, source of medicines, 
and describe ways in which the endemic species could be conserved and suggest reasons for protecting them. So here again, a few suggestions. So protect habitats, legal measurements, capture, uh, breeding, uh, artificial uh, insemination, ethical issues he, uh, we could mention, uh, possible uh, benefits, okay, maintaining genetic diversity and avoid damage of food webs. So as you can see, common answer, especially about the genetic diversity, food webs, uh, breeding are coming along. Here we've got the question, so what measurements are needed to calculate index of diversity? So we've mentioned that before, number of individuals, which stands for a lower N in equation, and number, total number, which stands for big capital N. And here we need to explain the purpose of this, um, uh, of this question, and obviously we've got the figure as well. So in here, obviously, we will be looking at the results are due to the herbicides. Uh, they are not due to another factor. OK, so the, uh, they show you the effect of adding the herbicides on the uh, on this uh, population. So suggest so an explanation for the relationship between concentration of herbicides and the mean crop. So you can come back to the uh, graph and have a look at it. But the relationship is the fact that more weeds are killed, so more crops, OK, plants will survive. So the high concentration damages the uh, to uh, kills okay and they are toxic to crops and explain the relationship so reduce plant diversity again the same model answer as we've seen in previous questions so less habitat so less food sources okay don't just put uh, uh, less food i wouldn't suggest that just get used to the word source Right, so, uh, so just one ethical argument for maintaining biodiversity. So uh, here could be uh, the fact that loss of population, reduction in population, loss of habitat. So again, the same vocabulary. And so just why economic argument for maintaining biodiversity. So what we've mentioned before, medical, tourism, agriculture, uh, commercial products. And a last question here is to explain why the removal of hedges caused a decrease in biodiversity. So again, model answer. So less food sources, okay, because they removed species or types of plants or insects. Okay. So I hope you've got the good picture of the keywords. Okay. And less habitats, less niches would give you a mark for this question as well. Right. See you later.